it is a pleasure for me to welcome you to Noise11.com and welcome to Australia. We will get you here in the flesh one day, but right now we'll do it this way, yes. huh? Perfect, Paul. Thanks for having me so much. And uh, yeah, I hope to be uh, over in Australia in 2023. Uh, and you're from Canada. Are you in Canada at the moment? I, you know, it looks very Canadian yeah. in the background there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm in Canada. I'm in my hometown right now in North Bay, and uh, the bus is picking me up tomorrow to head out on tour with Five Finger Death Punch and Brantley Gilbert, which kicks off November 9th. So, uh, yeah, I leave I leave tomorrow and uh, ready to rock. <laughs> well, let's hope we see that tour get all the way down to Australia in 2023. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's been. Fabulous listening to all the music that you've been putting out over the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, we've had, uh, you, well, your own stuff. We've had the albums. We've had the EPs. And we've also had the movie, uh, that uh, most recent movie, Retaliator, which uh, it, it's a it's a pretty full-on movie, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> you know, you can, you can watch the movie for what it is. <laughs> and then the soundtrack is absolutely gobsmacking. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was super exciting to be. Uh, you know, working with a lot of the label mates like Five Finger Death Punch and, of course, you know, some of the cats from Motley Crue and, uh, you know, The Who and, and, and Papa Roach and, and so many others. So, um, you know, to, to be in a movie and part of a movie, even though my role was very small as Jimmy the Bartender, it was short but sweet, um, gave me the taste for acting. And I'm not much of a horror thriller guy, but I thought it'd be pretty funny if I'd be, uh, you know, if I was in it and part of it and, uh you know, to tie all that in with some great music and a, and a you know, a, a soundtrack album, that's just fantastic. And uh, I'm hoping the world's loving it so far. And the I Rise EP, that's the uh, the latest EP. And I guess, you know, that brings uh, Burn It Up into a physical sense where we can actually go out and uh, and uh, uh, buy that. But, uh, you know, five songs in total. Uh, now, let's get to the uh, fact that you are a pilot. You can fly a plane. And two of these songs kind of relate to that. Yeah, um, it's funny. I just actually came back from flying not too long ago before this interview. So, uh it's 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 pretty cool. It's been a dream of mine to fly since I was a little kid. So, um, you know, I, that's one thing that COVID was good for for me personally is I got to finally finish my private pilot license. And I've uh, been doing lots of flying over the summer and over this over this break. Um, and you know, this this EP I Rise is is more the the edgier, the rock side of Corey Marks. And I know that um, it's a bit new to me to write rock songs given my country background, but it's still a lot of fun, especially working with Kevin and Kane Churko. Um, you know, the last song called Flying, which I'm really excited to, to release the video November 11th, along with the EP I Rise. Um, it was just that we had to write one more rock song. And Kevin thought, well, why don't we just write something that you're passionate about, that you love so much and try to make a rock song out of it. And that's flying. And, um, you know, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's it's definitely the heaviest song I've probably sang or or written. And it was challenging as well. So um, I'm always game for a bit of a challenge and. I'm excited about this this rockier side uh, for now of this EP, and I hope the world loves it, and I hope Australia loves it too. Well, you know, the country thing is an interesting thing, isn't it? Because, you know, you are basically a metal act, but also a country <laughs> act. And, you know, like some people would think that would be like the North and South Pole, but it actually merges together really well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it does for me. I mean, I grew up as a as a drummer, you know, growing up on Rush, Grant Funk, Railroad, Deep Purple, and then into my teens, getting into the heavier stuff like, you know, Pantera, Arch Enemy, Dream Theater. Uh, but I also, you know, growing up on Merle Haggard and 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 you know, Alan Jackson and, and George Strait, um, you know, that's one thing for me. And of course, Ozzy Osbourne. I wanted to, you know. I just I've never really heard the sound of all those genres and artists kind of mashed together. And that really makes who I am because I love both those genres. I love all those artists and that's what I grew up on. And so um, you know, that's kind of that the energy and the songwriting and and you know, really the, both genres that I'm trying to to bring together. So working with Kevin then, who does have that association with Ozzy Osbourne, uh, did he bring that into the studio for you? And did he sort of uh, take you through that process and, uh, you know, uh, go through how Ozzy worked uh, so that you could, you know, also get uh, a sound that you've achieved? Yeah, it was just something, you know, we both had uh, this idea and, and vision of kind of how we wanted to write, how we wanted to sound and him being 
the, the, this great producer he is, not only in the rock world, but a country world. Um, we're both drummers. So we just bonded really well together and kind of the sound and idea of what we wanted. You know, he's just the best. And I'm, um, you know, he's really, he was able to, you know, up things up for me, both vocally and, and musically, um, challenge me with, with the harmonies and some of the, the edgier style of, of vocals. But it's it's been really great. And it's funny because I remember driving to Nashville way back, one of my first trips, and my dad mentioned Kevin Churko listening to Black Rain as his record with Ozzy. And I that was my probably my favorite record in high school. And I remember going to Nashville saying, hey, Dad, how cool would that be to have this kind of production? but on a country record and almost 10 years later, here I am working with, with Kevin Churko, the same guy who wrote and produced those songs and we're making the records uh, that you hear today. So I'm, I'm super thankful, incredibly thankful for the entire Churko family and working with them and just having a lot of fun making this music. The uh, cover that you've got on here, Jet Airliner, uh, you know, what a classic song, a big hit in Australia. Right? I mean, if you're down in Australia and you perform that, everybody is going to know that song, as I'm sure they do in Canada that's amazing. they do in the USA. Yeah, that's that that's another one, of course, Kevin brought to the table. Um he had made he had made some music with it and uh, uh I, I thought it was a another a different song, just the way the the melody was, but then I thought, wait a minute, that's that's Jet Airliner, because it was a surprise to me that so I looked up the lyrics and thought, man. I never realized how relatable that song is, both as an artist and then obviously referencing the traveling and, and uh, jets uh, obviously got my attention. So uh, Kevin just being Kevin and, and knowing me and, 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 you know, what I would probably really like or love, uh, he nailed it with that one. And I'm so excited about this cover, Jet Airliner, coming out November 11th, too, with the EP. One thing that strikes me about you, you have a lot of famous friends, don't you? I mean, when I look at your videos, <laughs> see everybody in the videos, everybody on the on the records, uh, Lizzie Hale, who we talked to here last week, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mick Mars of Motley Crue, uh, you know, like so many people seem to be attached to you. Uh, yeah, I feel really blessed about that. And, and all these artists that I've, I've collaborated with so far have just been Phenomenal from Tyler Conley of Theory, Jason Hook, uh, formerly of Five Finger Death Punch, and like you mentioned, Lizzie, Mick, Ivan Moody of Five Finger, and um, you know, of course, Travis Tritt. Um, it's been really incredible to be working with these artists, you know, from multiple genres, multiple eras, um, and they've just been so great to work with. And and I've really, uh, gotten a lot closer with Mick over the last um, year or so after seeing him in Def Leppard in Toronto. Uh, I actually got to meet Mick finally, and we uh, we hung out on the bus for a good hour and just talked. And he's just such a kind, uh, honest, and very cool soul, and uh, very lucky to call all of them friends. Well, you know, somebody like Lizzie Hale, what an amazing voice, and you know, like out in the rain, Incredible. that that particular song. Uh, you know, the 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 two voices Thank together you. is just magic, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, she's phenomenal. I, I you know going out on tour with her last September. Uh, getting to watch them do those songs live, play those songs live. Uh, you know, everybody in that band, of course, including Liz, is just incredible talent. Um, incredible, ba a live band as well. So, uh, yeah, she's she's great. Uh, being the uh, you know country uh, uh, musician that you started out as, and then ending up in a studio with Travis Tritt. I mean, that must have been just like, you know, the ultimate walk-in. That was... That was incredible. That was really an incredible moment for me to not only be in Nashville at the Blackbird studio where so many great records are made, but seeing Travis Tritt himself walk in and and him knowing who I was right away and, you know, came up and gave me a big hug and told me that how excited and how proud he is and kind of just can't wait to build this friendship. And then getting to, after that, getting to see him sing the song that I wrote. Outlaws and Outsiders, and seeing seeing him perform the song was really incredible. It's a very special moment. There's uh, the title track to the EP I Rise, uh, which you say is about being uh, a new guy in the music industry and coming up through the ranks, but it could pretty much apply to any industry, couldn't it? It's a very positive song. Yeah, I think it's just it's just really a song of you know life. You know, life gets you down. You got to rise. You got to you got to get back up. And, you know, fight the good fight, but always remember to you know keep that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, in in your vision. So, uh, for me, that song is for me personally. Um, it's just you know, no matter how many times you kind of get beat down, 
you, you got to rise. And, and hopefully this song helps anyone going through those uh, moments in their life or their career or what it may be. And uh, they turn this song up to 10 and let the speakers blow out and rise with me. Yeah. And re I'm really enjoying this EP. So uh, keep Thank up the you, good Paul. Work. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate you very much. And again, I, I hope to be uh, in Australia in 2023. We take a shot of Jack together when I'm down there.